completely rotten, no strength at all. And the thing about the emerald ash borer beetle is what they do is they ring the tree, remove all the nutrients from the tree and it dies. Most of the logs are still good, but sometimes they're not. And I'm gonna show you what to look out for. So Andrew here commented on one of my videos and asked what you could get out of one of these ash logs. He wanted to see me cut into one. So that's what we're gonna do today. One little trick I like to do just to make sure this thing is actually not rotten inside is take an ax. And if you hear that ding, kind of like a baseball bat, that's a good sign. If it's just a thud, that's not a very good sign. But this one feels good from the outside, so we won't know till we get into it. This log is only 11 inches in diameter and I want to make floor joists out of them, so it needs to be solid and strong. And I want to make two by sixes, which will actually be six inches tall by about an inch and five eighths inch thick. I'd like to get five out of this log at least, but we'll see what we can get. All right, we're gonna aim for six. This is our first cut, real thin cut. You can see some holes where the bug bored in, but they're not going very deep. I think this is gonna be a nice log. So let's take a little more off and get going. Once again, this is looking really nice. We got some cracks here. I don't know how deep those go. And you can see the bugs here. But once you get a little deeper into the core, they kind of go away and you can kind of see they bottom out here. So they're really not going very deep at all. That little 11 inch diameter log actually yielded six floor joists for us. Like I say, six inches by an inch and five eighths thick. Really beautiful wood. The two outside pieces have some bark on them. For my project, it's gonna work just fine. If you were cutting for someone, they might not want that, but for me, that's great. But otherwise, these things are completely solid, really nice wood. I mean, ash is a really strong, hard wood, but there is something you need to look out for that will make them not strong at all. Let me show you that real quick. A couple days ago, I pulled out a log and I knew I was in trouble. As you can see, this thing is completely rotten. And this log, which looks okay, it actually snapped. Completely rotten, no strength at all. And the way that I should have known is, as you can see right here, we've got mushrooms growing, fungus. 
If you've got fungus on your logs, you can see the spalting right here. If you've got fungus growing on your logs, you know that that's already getting inside the wood and slowly decaying the wood. That's the job of fungus. Right here is a perfect example. This log has fungus growing all over it. This log is rotten. When you've got bark left on the log and it's laying on the ground, you get bugs and everything else that live underneath it, especially with these ash logs, because this tree could have been dead for several years. And once they hit the ground, you're in trouble. And also when they're still standing, if the bark doesn't fall off of it and you get mushrooms on it, I wouldn't mess with it. You could turn it into firewood. It's not gonna be the best stuff because you really don't wanna burn fungus either. That's a good sign. If you see this, I'd stay away from it. What you really are looking for is a log like we had there. The bark has been gone immediately. I had sealed the ends after I cut it, kept it up off the ground. So that thing was still solid. It didn't have rot. Bugs have not gotten into that log. But once ants and things like that get inside of a log, that's where you get a lot of rot and cavities. And if you're trying to use it for structural lumber, you're in trouble. Another big thing to think about with these ash trees is if you're thinking about cutting one of these down, these things can be deadly because they do rot and they get really brittle. And as you can see on this one, we've got giant branches up above us. And if I went to cut on this and one of those fell and hit me, it'd kill me. As you can see, this was a twin top. You can see it in this other video. And in the last storm we had, this section of it fell down. So I can now harvest this one, but I'm gonna wait for this one to drop itself. I'm not gonna mess with it. These things are brittle. They often break halfway up. They don't always break at the base. That means this whole thing could come driving down while you're sitting there cutting it with a chainsaw. I usually only drop them if, if it's already been topped out and it's just a cigar straight up and down. But just be very careful with these things. They are deadly. Thanks for that question, Andrew. Hope I answered it for you. Anybody else that's got any questions, ask in the comments. I'm here to answer those things. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.